You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a familiar face to Greater Brockton. We have Steve Bernard, the president of the Brockton area NAACP branch. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mark. Always. Thanks for coming back. Um, you got a big event coming up for for uh, for Brockton and the surrounding area. You got a 60th anniversary. Right. The Brockton chapter has been in Brockton now for 60 years, established in 1954. And uh, we're excited to celebrate uh, our 60th anniversary on November 8th mm -hmm. uh, at Lombardo's in, in Randolph. And uh, the event will begin at 7 p.m. It will be a dinner, a presentation uh, by our guest speaker, who is none other than Liz Walker, the former WBZ anchor woman and now pastor of a church in, in, in Roxbury. The MC will be none other than Channel 7's Byron Barnett, mm -hmm. uh, who is the host of Urban Update. There will be a, uh, entertainment. We'll have a jazz performer singing while we eat. And uh, shortly after we eat, she'll perform for us again. Afterwards, uh, we'll have uh, uh, an MC providing music in, uh, for our dancing pleasure. And I don't want to forget probably one of the most important part of the evenings, besides uh, Liz Walker, is that we'll be recognizing five people that have contributed significantly to the branch over the, late, over the life of the branch to date. And you spell those out for me, so if it's not enough to have Liz <laughs> Walker there, Byron Barnett there, a great dinner, entertainment, dancing, everything else, there's five awards. So right. let's go through them one by one and talk about the, the different people that are being on it. Well, the, the Brockton chapter was, it was established in 1954. There was an effort that began in 1952, 53, uh, from members who were part of the Boston chapter, who lived in Brockton, and they thought it would be a great idea to have a, an NAACP here in, in, in Brockton. Mm -hmm. And so in 1954, we became a chartered branch of the NAACP, and our first president was none other than, at that time, attorney Bernie Cohen, who later became a judge, Bernard Cohen. And so Bernie Cohen, Judge Bernard Cohen, was our first president of the NAACP. Founding president, that's mm -hmm. great. And, uh, and so we'll be pro providing, we'll be talking a little bit about Bernie and, and uh, presenting an award in his honor, posthumously, uh, to his wife who will be there. Okay, and then we go through, we have a former president of the organization. Yes, Vernon Sport. Vernon K. Sport was the president in, in 1965. And we're uh, recognizing Vernon for his work, not only here in Brockton, uh, but for his uh, valor uh, in World War II. He was a Tuskegee Airman. And uh, coming to Brockton, he was, uh, his career was that of an affirmative action officer for the court system of the, of, uh, the, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. He was our 1965 uh, NAACP Brockton Branch president, and he was also on the founding board of directors of uh, Self Help Incorporated, Brockton's answer to the war on poverty, uh, and which uh, developed soon thereafter into Neighborhood Youth Corps and, and CEDAR as the years, years went by. Mm -hmm. uh, so Vernon Sport was not only a, uh, a uh, hero, to all Americans, uh, he was certainly a very important and a hero to Brocktonians when it, when it came to uh, civil rights uh, and job placement here in Brockton. Okay, and then we go right to a past Brockton superintendent of schools who everybody knows, who Everyone was knows instrumental in mm -hmm. many different things in Brockton. Robert C. Jones came to Brockton at age 10 and went through the Brockton school system was a star athlete at Brockton, Brockton High School and then at, at Tufts University. Came back and began a long, t long career in the Brockton school systems where he held, held many positions, that of a teacher, a principal, an administrator, and finally to the top of, top of his uh, career, he became the superintendent of, of schools. Uh, and as, you, as many people know, he's a very warm and talented man who cared very much about children, and he was very much responsible uh, for uh, finding funds for the development of uh, the new schools uh, here in Brockton. And we'll talk more about uh, Robert at that event. Great guy, I've he, known him. He will be there. 
He is, and a we're good, looking forward to seeing him. He's a great guy. I was a student rep to the school committee back in the day, and he mm -hmm. was the guy that told them all about facilities uh -huh. and that they had to maintain them. I remember one of his famous slideshows, and at the end of his career, he was able to get those five new schools mm -hmm. for Brockton. Absolutely. There was plenty. So we're looking forward to, to uh, honoring Robert C. Jones. That's great. And it's nice to honor someone, too, when they're still with us. <laughs> yes, you know? um, um, now, we go right over to uh, kind of a soft spot for me. I'm mm -hmm. on the Board of Trustees at the Brockton Public Library, someone who's helped out the community mm -hmm. from the Everyone library. Everyone in Brockton is so proud of our, our library system. It's a great library system, second to, to no other uh, uh, city's library system. And a person that has been in the library system for, I believe, as, as many as 40 years is none other than the head of adult services, Miss Lucia Shannon. For all of the work that she's done in the library mm -hmm. and the fact that she has made certain that the collection included uh, collections of authors from uh, multicultural backgrounds uh, and that she has provided a forum for the many cultures in Brockton uh, to uh, display their, their cultural works and their art. Uh, Lucia is definitely rewarding uh, of an award from the NAACP and all in the community. We look forward to seeing Lucia, Lucia there too. Well, I was lucky enough to have my first job before anybody knew me with cable. I was a, <laughs> I was a library page. That was is that right? Job. Yes. Okay. So I know what, about, what is a library page? You. At the time, you mm -hmm. fetched books. You the, they hit the buzzer. You had the Dewey Decimal System, and you got the books from the then closed stacks. Now they're open stacks. And mm -hmm. Lucia was involved, and I think she was in the fiction room at the at that point. In time. Isn't that something? So a long time. And then last but not least, they gave me the three minute sign. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a gold medal winner mm -hmm. for AXO. Um, who happens to also go to Southeastern Regional, so I'll take my bias in that because I'm on the school committee there, mm -hmm. Adrian Niles. Adrian Niles is a gold medal winner for our AXO program. Actually, he participated in the Boston Branches AXO program. Uh, AXO stands for Academic, Cultural, Technological, and Scientific Olympics. It's a 26-category competition in the arts, humanities, and sciences. Mm -hmm. The winners of the local competition go on to compete nationally for awards. His award was in science and in, in engineering. Mm -hmm. He is not only the, the, the gold medalist locally, but, uh, but nationally, and received a commendation from uh, President Obama on a trip to a White House. Can't Adrian you Niles sets a wonderful standard for kids today that they, they put their minds to it, they can do most anything. We're looking forward to celebrating him and his accomplishments, uh, and we look forward to uh, having our own AXO program here in Brockton, as we had for many years in the past, we will have it uh, beginning uh, in this next year. So I told you time was going to fly. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a website. It's NAACP slash, like a hyphen, BrocktonBranch.org. That's where all the ticket information is up there. Yes, it is. And about this event. So uh, not too much time left to get them. You can, you can purchase tickets online. Or you'll find a number which uh, you can contact uh, the head of our uh, 60th anniversary committee, none other than Phyllis Ellis. She's done a marvelous job. I want to take time to thank, thank Phyllis and all the members of the committee that have worked so hard to make this event a successful event. And yes, before it is even happening, I'm calling it a successful event because we expect to see as many as 300 people out there. And of course, I'm asking all Brocktonians to consider to come out or make a co contribution of, to this event because the work is to establish youth programs and to work for civil rights here in the Brockton and maintain, maintain a healthy atmosphere for all citizens. Please join the NAACP. You'll have an opportunity on that night. And I, I, I'm so grateful that I had an opportunity to, to share this uh, Oh. Uh, information with you. I'm glad you're doing it. I'm looking forward to the event myself and we will be there. So <laughs> okay. thanks for coming in, Steve. Thank you so much. Appreciate Mark. it. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.